And welcome back everybody. What I want to do today is for first starters is I want to get in here. I want to finish this house up. So I got the music all the way up as normal. So let's go ahead. Let's turn that down to like maybe 44% maybe. Should be okay. And as far as resource packs goes, none of these things work. Okay, they're all incompatible and well this thing does work. And it makes the trees look fairly nice, but right now we're not in it for the trees. We're in it for the building of the house. And I started working on the house this morning, you know, try to make it look a bit better. So as soon as we load up here, you guys see, yeah, a little bit of lag world's loading in. But, eh. So, I was looking at this from the outside, and I was like, okay, first things first is, let's remove the logs. Um, this cobblestone light right here, it's, it's just there to keep mobs from spawning up on top of here. Um, you can already tell I switched out the roof trying to make that look a little bit better I was playing around with design and I was decided okay I'm gonna stay with the theme out here and I want to do jungle wood and I want to do a jungle wood and do an acacia roof and I'd say it looks all right but I'd be lying if I said it did. So that's the one design that I was working with. And here's the other one. And switching it out for that wood up there. I know it looks kind of dull right here, but we can juice that up. Maybe throw some bushes or something out there. So let's come inside the house here. Let's head up. And... Let's head up here to the rooftop. Alright. So you've seen the design off the back end of the house. That's how I was working with with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this thing back right here. Um, not too sure. Um, let's go ahead. Let's fix up, finish up this roof right here. The first design. So let's scoop herself out here. Place this in here. Lovely. Place blocks all over the place. And here, give me these slabs. I'm just place those right there. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're just going to come straight across this. And we're going to stick with this design first. See what it turns out looking like. Now you're probably wondering what I'm going to do down there on top of that. Well, I was kind of hoping that would be a bit obvious as to what I'm going to do, but eh. There we go. Now we're just going to come straight across the top of the roof right here. And just boom, bada bing, bada boom. And maybe not screw up. What the heck? Place. There you go, and come across it with this. Let me see if this is hanging off the edge back here. Yeah, this this side is already pretty much hanging off the edge. I 
I can already tell I'm going to be out of slabs, so while we're up here, let's just go ahead, let's see here, we got some jungle wood planks, let's make ourselves a crafting table while we're up here. We'll just slap that right there. I can see it's getting dark out. We'll deal with that in a minute. Because I'm thinking of putting a skylight in the ceiling. Alright, so let's hop down here. Let's climb into the bed real quick. There you go. Well, let's climb right back up top. And let's make sure all of this is overhung. Okay. So let's go up down here and let's go take a look at this from the outside. I'd say it don't look half bad. Um, let's say let's finish off this side over here with some stone brick. Let's get rid of this stupid setting right here. And then all of these things can be turned up the other way. Let's move over. All right, now let's head over and let's just start placing these like this. All right, now let's go take a look at this. First off, give me this. There we go. And let's see what that looks like. That don't look half bad. Looks better than what it was. Sure, it makes the house look like it's off-center, but we want it to look like that. Just give it a little off look to it. So, yeah. I guess this could work. Get our grub on, regain some hearts. And let's head up over this way. Let's just start removing these. Because we said we needed a room for enchanting. Of course, we didn't need to fall, fall in the water. So we're going to do for an enchanting room. We're going to come over here. We're going to do two, three... Four, five, one, two, three, then we're going to go one, two, then a one, right there. Then we'll come over this way and we'll do a two, and go one, two, three, then we'll do a five again.
and we could already see this is going to overlap if we continue doing it this way and this is a bit big so let's try cutting this thing down to size here a bit So we'll start with instead is a three, a two, and a one. A two, a three, a one. And we're just going to make the uh, diagram out for a... Uh, Hope I did that right. We'll see if I didn't mess that up. Two, one, two, three. There we go. So we got ourselves a roommate, a uh, roommate out for this right here. And for the floor, I'm not gonna. For the floor, I'm thinking I'm just going to do one of these. But the difference of it is, is now we have all the sidewood logs. So let's try to do something a bit differently for the floor, okay? So let's remove all these planks in here. I mean, not planks, torches. And we're just going to twist this wood around here a bit. So it has its own design, but a little bit twisted going this way and that way. So take some of this here. Well, not like that exactly. And maybe we'll twist this one to go in this way. So let me lay out this floor pattern and I'll be right back with you guys. And I'm back. I got the floor pattern laid out. Had to take a nap. And you can probably see inside the house over there, I slapped some ladders up. That's for some storage. I'll get to that here in a bit. Um, same thing as before, except for it's going to be a tad bit different, is we're going to come around it, and we're going to place these blocks. Now, they're not going to be the actual physical wall for the uh, building. But they're going to be kind of uh, like a placeholder. Because you got to remember, we're going to have a path. This path is going to be going up to another place that we can build. This will be the enchanting room. So since we're outside, we can go ahead. We can place one of these here, one of these here. Um... Give me this. Let's see here. What is that? Nope. Yeah, 
And what we're going to do with this, we're going to take that, take that, we're going to place that there. Um, I'm going to take some jungle wood since we have that over there set up pretty much already. Alright, um, I want pretty much a stone foundation for getting into the house. See, it still comes out as three. What is in my way over here? So let's get this tree out of my way first off. There we go. And Looks like we need some more stone slabs. So. Wait, I put stone bricks out here. What did I do those for? Okay, so we're going to have some stone coming out. And the whole reason for the stone is I want to bring it around. Sort of like this, and then I'm gonna get some stone slabs. And the door's gonna be up here, so. And we're gonna turn this into like a staircase coming down. think so. Um, don't know if that looks too good. Yeah, that don't look right. Let's pull those out of there. I mean, where's those cracked stone bricks at? Right here. I was thinking we could do like an entrance type deal over here. So let me get this stone again and let's add some more into this. So you see how we come out two, which is right over there. So we come out here and so you got your two from there. It goes out two more. So. Yeah. Let's try bringing this thing forward first. Because it comes forward by twos. And it's going to go the whole way back to here. So, yeah, it'll be like this. One, two, one, two. Like that. Yeah. This does come out two more. The way I had it. Yeah. Then it goes three back. So yeah, one, two, three. What do I got messed up right here? This piece right here. Okay. So since we got that up out of the way, let's go ahead and let's place that there. And we're going to take some regular stone brick. And we're going to place one right here. One right here. I'm going to place another one right here. And right here. Let's remove that. We're going to take these. Why 
can I jump up one of these? Oh, well, now I can. And we need some more. So let's just go ahead and get some more of those. And we're going to make this thing look a lot better than what the other one was. Because, gotta admit, this, the last one, kind of looked like crap that we were working on. So let's place that there for right now. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Bunch on some melon. And where this is, this will be the entrance. So we can mark, pull these things out. Should have some extra jungle wood. Yep. And we'll take these jungle wood. This one. <clears throat> now, because of where they're already placed, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to come over here and do the same thing right there. Now, we need some doors, so let's see what type of doors we can get. I can show you what I'm doing. Um, tell you what, let's put this thing right here in the middle, like I was showing you. We're going to come across, two on this side, back up, wrong button again, and are we out of stone bricks? Nope. And this would be like our enchanting room that we're working on right here, so... Yeah, now I'm trying to think of what type of door we can add on to here. We don't have any spruce right now, but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to st step it up or take it straight across of some sort. Let's find ourselves a bed real quick. Of course, the enchanting room is going to be a tad bit bigger than the house. But uh, the idea is we're going to build as we go. It's going to be circular so that on the inside, um, so on the inside, I could come straight across and we'll say, we'll put one of these here, we'll put another one here. And we'd come across it with this. And then just add the back end with some fillers. So as a filler, I'm thinking maybe we can add some jungle in back here. And get up on top of this. And this would be like a shelf. And I could put a chest right here and a chest right here. Um, the enchanting table. What do you say we go grab that thing? So, 
chanting table should be inside here. Right here. And we'll grab our bookshelf. And since I'm already in here, let's go ahead and let's grab three. And let's head out here. Now, the type of door I'm thinking of doing is we got jungle, we got acacia. Um, well, we've seen that one. Let's see what the jungle wood doors look like. Of course, having six of them isn't exactly what I was aiming for, but it'll work. So, because that door is right there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out here, boom, boom, move over, and there we go. I really hope that faithful texture pack is going on pretty good here, and because of the way this is, you can see the doors look like they're built into the wall. So, yeah. So it will have some pressure plates on the inside of this. Um, let's see here. We could probably do a couple of those things right now. One, two, three, four. And there you go. So we come out. Door closes behind us. We can come back in. Door opens. And let's grab this enchanting table. What we're going to do is we're going to do three bookshelves, three bookshelves, three bookshelves. But let's see here. I should have more bookshelves besides just this. But let's place this right here. And I got more over here. So, yeah, we do kind of have to go the whole way around for this. So, what we'll do is we'll have three bookshelves right here. Three coming out. Three coming out. The enchanted table will be right here. And when this is done, I can place two. Sh I can, uh. Not stone, stone brick. So when this is done, what we'll have is, essentially, we'll have that right there. Um, this will be this will be pulled in, and this side will pull in some, or maybe I could push it out, but I don't want to keep it like that so what I want to do instead of this right here is I want to take this down some and I want to replace this with this and this so let's remove those and let's replace those things so how I'm going to replace those is like this Now it looks like I got a in-depth thing, and I'm going to run this the whole way around it like that. So to replace that right there, we can do this. We can double it up. We can take this piece right here, and this piece right here. and replace it with these that way it doesn't look so wonky again and then this one right here it'll be put in depth how we'll do that is the same exact way as I did before is we're gonna take this boom boom and And we'll do the same thing going the whole way around it. 
and I might I should probably do the same thing over here I think I am but we'll have to pull the bookshelf in more but if we have to pull it in more what I think I'm gonna do is we're gonna end up waiting to put this in until we get the rest of this built and it should come out looking okay so this is our house this is our enchanting room that we're gonna be building um, up here we could build a forge where we're gonna cook all our stuff at because it has a uh, Big pool of lava, which I'd like to build a tunnel to get into. We could use it for food. I mean, not food, for, uh, yeah. Want lava? <laughs> um, but yeah. But that'll be our thing. And that's our enchanting room right there. We'll be working on that between these next few episodes, and I'll be catching you guys later because I don't know how long I've been recording, but you guys take it easy. Have yourself a nice day. Later. Yeah. Later, everybody.